May 21st, 2021, and registering those rights on November 1st, 2022. Now, I don't know anything about Soon Lee. This could be actually- Yo, uh, I'm not intelligent enough. Bruh. Ladies and gentlemen, you're probably familiar with YouTubers clickbaiting you, but God damn it, it is happening in gaming. We have a massive scam going around, and I'm pretty sure you can, once we go through, you're gonna be able to name a few games from the top of your head. The main game that comes to my mind is Abandoned. What's up with Abandoned? Where that game is? I'm not Bruh. sure. But this situation is so wild that, let me actually talk about this the day before. In other words, the delay before. Get it? You probably get it, right? The, the situation here is that essentially this game was supposed to come out. Steam just got, got rid of this game. They buga killed this game. They removed the game. They And, and then the, the company itself, I'll show you their response. They came out and they said that guys, like, we, we had to delay the game. Hey, you, you know, we're sorry. We're going to be releasing new gameplay and whatnot. And the gameplay that you're watching in the background, not only that people have found that this gameplay was copied, not only that it's scripted, but it was copied from The Last of Us. It's, it has taken assets. I'm not fully familiar with this game. I'll keep a buck fifty. But apparently, a lot of people that are into this, uh, they were really hyped for this game. But you know what? It's a zombie survival game, right? So they probably took inspiration from it, what not? And you can look at this situation as well, where the delay, <laughs> the delay before yeah. uh, the the cover art is similar to The Last of Us. But that's not necessarily massive. The the situation that's going on right now is that it got from the steam page and essentially this is a scam best case scenario they're gonna drop this game and they're just gonna run away with your money they want the pre-order numbers to be as high as possible i guess gaming yeah gaming ladies and gentlemen that's essentially what's happening a lot of these game companies comes out not only that we have to worry about what activision releases not we had not only that we have already had to worry about what ea releases now these little indie projects are trying to scam us as well man y'all need to wake up y'all seriously need to wake up and i gotta play this video for y'all so this latest chapter all starts back on january 15th we get this announcement from the official day before discord that the team at fantastic have received the go ahead from legal to publish raw gameplay footage okay which is something we haven't yet seen and the wording is odd almost like they're doing us a favor releasing this footage because how could we be so skeptical after all these heavily scripted vertical slice trailers and then kind of late last toxic gamers if you if you question you're toxic that's what they're gonna label you as at least it was for me on the east coast us we get wind that the day before has been delisted on steam that's right the number two <laughs> most <laughs> wishlisted game on all of steam has poof vanished and here's where it gets really dicey their official discord server posts this message to calm the hordes just moments after this delisting we are currently experiencing Bruh. a minor technical difficulty with our game's visibility on the steam store page this is a known bug that has affected multiple titles in the past more on this in a moment please no bro i i gotta say this man stop the cap known bug known bug note that steam regularly conducts maintenance on tuesdays and this issue will likely be resolved during that time we kindly ask that you refrain from sending negative messages or joining in with the complaints of others rest assured toxic you don't wanna hey you're being toxic you're a menace to society don't be toxic that our game will be visible on the steam store again once the maintenance is complete and then they finish it up with patience is key now, I would argue that the gaming community has been more than patient with Fantastic and their title the day before, but anyways, here's where it starts to get more interesting. So first, I started digging into this. I reached out to someone who knows way more about Steam than I do. I asked them about this statement from Fantastic, the known bugs, etc. I showed them this receipt log, and their exact statement and response back to me was, no, that's total BS. It is not a known bug. It is not common. Then we get the Steam logs oh the God. day before showing the changes were made, removing the movies and trailers <laughs> on their Steam store page. The team Man. claims that this is Steam delisting the game, but to me, these look like their team is going in and deleting the movies and screenshots, as in they're just trying to remove all the Bruh. buttons, possibly. I don't know. Also, that entire we are experiencing minor technical difficulties with the game Discord message has since been entirely deleted, which is a huge red flag. That's right. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, what? What? We are, where's where's the where's the homie Young Yad? Oh my god! The homie Young oh my god! Oh my god! That entire message that I showed you on screen has now been removed from their official Discord server. Now, I, I held off on publishing anything last night as one, I was just totally exhausted from the workday. And number two, I've seen enough from this team of Fantastic based on their previous cases of jumping out of the boiling hot frying pan scenarios that I decided to wait for another round of what I fully expected to appear. And my patience was rewarded. Our this is gaming, ladies and gentlemen. I just cannot even compute, bro. Five years ago, it wasn't this bad. Now there are like in games coming out of nowhere trying to scam people. We have to worry about what Activision releases. We have to dodge. Is this game gonna go exclusive? Is that game gonna be unfinished? Is that game gonna have microtransaction? We have to worry about so much stuff, stuff that now the only thing, the only thing people, you know, when you look at games like this, ladies and gentlemen, let me actually find that right one, okay? When you look at games like that, you are praising games. You're like, guys, 
the this indie project that I'm gonna get it's gonna be finished it's gonna be complete it's gonna come out it's not gonna have microtransactions or even if they have I'm gonna support this game because I know for the fact that the devs are passionate and this game is gonna be complete at launch even if it's not I'm still gonna support it because I know that they put the, they poured their heart and soul into this project but it, we find out that it's just copy and pasted. It's it's basically a scam game, just like Abandon. Abandon, uh, we haven't even heard about Bruh. that game. And Sony basically Buga killed that. I'm not mis. Okay, somebody, you correct me. Was Abandon removed from PlayStation Store? I don't know though. I still, I'm not sure. This is truly wild, man. Truly. Hours later, we get this statement over on Twitter. Dear fans, right before the release, Steam blocked our game page at the request of a private individual because of the name The Day Before. Okay. As you know, our game was announced in January 2021. At the time of the announcement, The Day Before Game Trademark was available. After the announcement of the game, the above mentioned individual filed out an application for us to register. Stop register the game trademark the day before in the United States. And then they've got a link here. I'll get into more of that in just a moment because I did some digging for you. What's next? Previously, we were not aware of the existence of claims. I would press F to doubt. We found out about this only on January 19th, 2023, when we received a complaint Stop from him and a request to contact him. Now we found out all the circumstances of the incident and we will definitely solve everything. We previously planned to post a lengthy gameplay video later this month, but we'll have to sort this issue out first. We will post a video ASAP. More on this in a moment, too. As a result, we have made the difficult decision to postpone the launch of the game to November 10th, 2023. We understand this may be a disappointment for many of our fans. However, we want to ensure we release the best possible game. So are you Bruh. stating that it was not the best possible game that was going to be releasing on March the 1st? Talk more about that again. Uh, our 100% focus remains on the game itself and how to deliver you the best game possible. Thank you, and we hope for your support. Sincerely, Mytona and Fantastic. Guys, honestly, do not pre-order a game, okay? I'm going to be honest. I mean, listen, I understand. It's your money. Nobody has the right to tell you what to do. But the reason I'm saying, and the reason a lot of people always say do not pre-order the game, basically the reason is simple. If you pre-order the game, they're gonna look at the numbers. They're gonna they're gonna be able to do helicopters with their release. They're gonna be like, see, I got that many numbers. Now I can be lazy and I can release un unfinished projects because I already have your money. You you see what I'm saying? At the end of the day, it's your money. You do you, right? But but the thing is that if we do not pre-order the game two things will happen they will make sure they release the full finished game and secondly they will they will really try their absolute best to get you to pre-order the game probably they're gonna try and release more content in the game they're gonna give you like more pre-order bonuses so it's good for everybody around now i understand if you're a youtuber i'm not trying to give a pass Bruh. but but let's be real if you're trying to do youtube man you, you gotta in that aspect what you can the best you can do is that you can pre-order the game three days before okay the game is not running out okay they're not gonna run out of copies we're talking digital a lot of people pre-order the games dig digitally as well but if you want to do youtube you want to do content creation just pre-order it like three days before so you can pre-download and if you are somebody if you're even if you're not doing youtube and you still want to pre-order you can pre-order the game three days before pre-ordering the game three days before versus two months a year before there's there's a massive difference in that okay it's better to not pre-order but if you're like <laughs> i need to pre-order me i need to i need to be strong independent i need to get my dopamine shot i need i i'm having that itch just do it three days before man it's not running out and it's just better for you because you know if you are looking to buy the game uh, you can pre-order it three days before and that that means that you are really interested in the game that means that you want to play that game and, and you, you know by that time you will have watched enough content on it you will have watched enough gameplay videos you have listened to enough uh, youtubers telling you to buy or not to buy right so you would have concluded either you're gonna buy it or you're not gonna buy it right so it's just better all around or if you're really skeptical then you can wait like two day two days after launch maybe even a week after launch because guys the copies the games are not running out they they, they, they it's infinite it's infinite man Bruh. it's infinite okay so you got two parts of this announcement and we need to be able to break these apart into separate chapters first off you've got this claim trademark issue and then the second part is the delay announcement itself but first off let's break apart this trademark they tagged some vague document from a previous filing for the title like back in 2014 really doesn't make much sense to me anyways i've done some digging on my own on the u.s patent and trademark office because remember they mentioned it was filed for in the united states by the oh, way damn. the patent and trademark office has their test page which stands for trademark electronic search system test now if you search the day before oh, shit. Oh, shit. or you've got a soon lee applying for the rights back on may 21st 2021 and registering those rights on november 1st 2022 now i don't know anything about soon lee this could be actually Yo, uh i'm not intelligent enough to understand what that means Bruh. Yo, any scientists around? Employee of Fantastic. I have no idea, but they've got the rights Same. as of November 1st, 2022. 
As a point of record, the what? official day before announcement trailer aired on January 27th, 2021. So that's five months before Soon Lee applies for the rights. And, and I'm just going to make a huge assumption here, but you would think that the team at Fantastic would have tried to apply for the day before copyright before that date, but I guess you would be wrong because according to this test record system here, Fantastic applies for the day before on January 27th. Okay, honestly, I could be wrong, wrong, but what this tells me is that they tried to after they have got your money after they have seen those pre-order numbers that's when they were like okay let's make let's try and make it a little bit official and justify it so we do not end up in legal trouble we do not end up in legal scam that is that's wild see what i'm saying like never pre-order games three days before that's perfectly fine if you if you if you have those itches okay and urges man if you cannot control 7th 2022 a full year after their first announcement trailer airs over on youtube now this is just for the united states there could be contradicting records in some form internationally who knows i'm done digging up stuff on this one now onto the second part of this announcement, and that's the delay part. And of everything that's gone down in the last 24 hours, this part sounds the most accurate and truthful to me, besides the statement that they just found yeah. out the name to their game. The rights to the day before were not available on January 19th. Again, that sounds highly sus. Anyways, they are delaying the launch yep. of the day before, again, I might add, from March 1st to November 10th, which was all expected, and we expect it to happen again sometime later this year. And just so we can set a bit of precedent here, and I'm speaking of Fantastic, they set the mega event month announcement date. I forget what year it was Remember, that was an entire month they gave themselves and they just flat out missed it they also originally set Bruh. their first live game launch date we didn't set it they set it and just weeks prior to that date they postponed for a full year so they could supposedly transition from unreal engine 4 over to 5 and now <clears throat> precedent here they set the march 1st launch window and you guessed it they delayed it again they also claim that the raw gameplay footage has also had to been delayed and definitely also due to this copyright issue now here's just a thought i'm just rambling here but just take the name down and call it a, an unreal engine 5 project from fantastic until you nail down another name and if this is truly an issue then you can just relist the game on steam and immediately post that raw call, call it the delay before i'm getting like deja vu i'm getting abandoned vibes and uh, this also just happened this is some of the craziest video this is some of the craziest thing activision is doing right now it is related to some like sensitive stuff i cannot say that on youtube click on this video on the screen or click the video on the left because this car just happened in real life some of the craziest video ever click on that and i will see you right there